Hello, it's Eric Porter again. We're going to talk a little about risk assessment. So why? Well, there is more than one answer, but it's all about safety. Firstly, because it's the law in most European countries. This comes from enactment of the EU Employment Directive. Secondly, because it makes logical sense to reduce potential dangers to workers and other people. Thirdly, because an investigation following an, an accident will look unfavorably upon people who have not considered risk in advance. In the UK's enactment of the directive, an employer has the legal duty to ensure that all work activities have been risk assessed. Employer can be defined quite loosely, so anyone in charge of a team may have this responsibility, even if they're not actually paying for the work to be done, but are choosing and directing how it takes place. The process starts with identifying actual hazards. Work at height is an activity with several different hazards. For example, falling objects, persons falling, muscle strain, and so on. Individual hazards need to be identified and graded. A scale of one to five is my preference, where one is trivial and five is fatal. See? Uh, if, I'm not looking, if I'm not looking for it, I'm not gonna catch it. The likelihood or probability of each hazard presenting itself is similarly to be graded as low, medium, high, or one to five, ranging from very rare to extremely likely. The result of multiplying the two numbers together will give a range of one to 25, or one to nine, if we consider only low, medium, high. This is called the risk index. The risk assessment then considers who is affected by each risk index and for how long during the typical day and control measures are put in place to reduce each risk. An example of a control to reduce risk from falling objects would be all persons to wear hard hats and normally it's not bananas. But a more effective control would be to exclude all, or nearly all persons, if otherwise impractical, from the relevant zone. I will do a further short video elaborating this hierarchy of controls for those of you wishing to expand this topic. The law requires that risk assessments are to be reviewed on a regular basis and following accidents or the introduction of new techniques or technologies or relevant changes in legislation. The obvious weakness of risk assessment is that it tries to put qualitative judgments into a quantitative, i.e. numeric form. This is why the need exists for further risk management exercises such as method statements.